so i will tell you from the starting how to connect ross with unity okay so i will tell you some of the mistake i did so that you will know what to do and what not to do okay so and uh, this is the unity hub i have created name this project let's start this okay now our unity is ready now this is started up so firstly we'll start with setting this up how to do this this is the unity setup and they have given the link don't worry this links i'll be giving you in the description box okay firstly we have to git clone this you have to clone uh, not to git clone rather you have to copy this url so that we can get the first thing in in this is that you have to take care of version version is very important why i'm saying version look over here when you go inside this there are versions there are tag likewise you can see the tag so the latest one is 0.6.0 so we'll be using this tag okay so we'll be using this tag so now what what how to copy this tag i will tell you firstly let's copy this link okay so this is the one that is going to sending messages from the unity side in the simple language to ross so we will be going on windows we go on package manager okay now inside this i'll click add packages from git url i will just press this after this observe this very carefully i am putting has version 0.6.0 so this was the version version 0.6.0 so i want the latest version that's why i am doing like this okay now we'll press add it will take some time to add this okay now this is added up but it's showing some sort of warning although i don't know why this warning is coming up but for now let's ignore it because it's not going to harm your publisher and subscriber things okay so i will try figuring out what is this warning and in the uh, comment section i will put the solution for this warning but for right now you can ignore this just okay so next thing we'll do is we'll go back to here we we'll come back to here and now what we need from the raw side is we need to build a package raw tcp endpoint okay so from where we'll get this so we need to git clone this package i will open this package up raw tcp endpoint this package name is over here you can see this so i have to git clone this but remember over here as well important thing is version version is very very important so i have selected this version 0.6.0 because my this version is 0.6.0 so version is very important otherwise you will mess things up and it won't work now i will go on my catchkin workspace cd catchkin workspace src and i over here i will git clone this okay so now this is git clone uh, i'll move back okay now i'll make do catchkin catchkin make so it will build the package which we added right just right now and i can show you up here as well so this is the one that we copied okay there are so many others so it's building and now this is completely built up so what i will do i will source source this terminal i will do level dot setup dot dash to source it now it is source next thing is so so 
so this is from the ROS side and the one the package that we installed this one is from ROS TCP this is from the unity side now next thing is we need to build some messages so that they can communicate so actually unity works on C has messages so we need to build those how we do that what you have to do is within this there are two packages which you need to build okay so you have to go back to this github and you have to go on to you have to come inside this ROS unity package and you have to copy these two folders to your workspace over here you have to also keep in mind this this one to be selected and how you can copy there is one called down git you can use this to copy this down or otherwise you can entirely download this folder and then copy this down as you wish from here you can copy this link and you can paste it over here and it will generate a file for you so after you do this so these two should be put on your catkin workspace or any workspace you are working around so i have already done this two and this this two these are two packages this one and next one is this one okay so i have already done with this so what you have to do after this for unity to build this up you have to go on to ROS unity package close this up now this robotics is created once we input all the things now this option we got okay so now next we'll go on generate ROS messages now we'll search for our folder where it is so in my case it's within catchkin workspace src and this are the message ROS unity robotics demo messages okay so i will open this up so these are two messages and two services these are going to service messages they are going to build up i will be building this up this is built same way same way this all both of those you have to build up okay now this is done next what we'll be doing it we'll be testing out the connection so inside this you have to run a command so what is that command that you can see over here before starting that command we need to set up ROS IP address otherwise it won't be working so firstly what I will be doing I will opening new tab and I will copy this down as well I will open one more terminal I will source this okay now this one is source over here I will start ROS core okay so this is starting off ROS core is starting off over here I need to check my host host name minus i so this is this is my host name two of them first one I am using I know that so uh, this is opened task one is running now we can set this up so we'll be copying this and paste this and I need to change this part with my IP address okay now this is set up now we can run this this one don't run this without setting this otherwise this won't be working so this is going to communicate through your IP now I'll paste this and start running this up so this is started server on this IP address okay the so same thing will be setting this up within our robotics 
raw settings and we need to change this so this is my ip address this one i need to copy so this is done i am using ros1 so i have ros1 if you are using ros2 you can shift it to that this is done now next to test is it getting connected or not we have to do one thing i will edit this i will make is name it ros ros connection okay now after renaming this there is an add comment over here when you click this there is add component over here go on this add component and after this search ros so you will see ros connection same way you have to put over here if you don't do this and add this and you play then it's not going to show up anything over here so this is very important okay so even uh, it took me some time to figure this out that this is done like this okay now this is done i've set this up now i will go on for edit and i will play this now you can see it's running so this is displaying over here it's showing it's connected connection from this one is important line for you as well so this is so connect from this okay so this is connected if this, this doesn't show then you are making some mistake and this will be showing on unity and this will be showing on the script that we are running so up till now you are done till this so your ROS is connected next what we will be doing we will making one more empty object we will be naming it ROTS unity integration publish that okay we'll publishing this so what we have to do we have to name this as ros publisher i'm doing it bit slow so that you can easily follow with me okay now after this we need to add the script go on project within the asset when you click within the asset then there is the option of plus let's see has script now we have to name this as this ross publisher example okay now name this and it is renamed now next thing is we need to copy this but before copying make one thing very much clear that the branch tag you are using you have to be on that branch then copy the script otherwise it's going to be wrong so you need to be on this branch version 0.6.0 because you have installed the plugin of 6.0 so then we will be copying the script we will copy this and i will open this up so i have just double click in my it's open since visual studio and op in your mind it's opening in notepad so those thing you can adjust okay so let's change the script now this is done okay we'll go back to unity this is loading of the script now everything is fine now what you have to do next is we need to add go on this 3d object will be adding a plane okay so let's stop this now we'll add a plane now we'll be adding a cube okay so when you select on this cube you can move this so i'll be moving this up okay this is done now one more thing so it was playing so that was gone so we need to again add this ross i publisher so we'll be linking this with this script okay that's why i added it up 
so now next thing is we need to go on this publisher and we need to add the script so you have to search ROS ROS and you will get ROS publisher example script so you have to add this so this is done next we want to place this cube so on this cube parameter we need to select a parameter so we'll be selecting cube this is also done look cube is selected this is the topic so this will be publishing okay now our raw side this is disconnected because we pause it now when we connect it it will again get played okay so i hope rest everything is okay we have connected this yeah let's play this so this is getting played up you can see over here on raw sides it's connected okay it's connected it's connected okay now let's do let's source let's try looking it is it the same topic which is named over here ross topic so you can see this is the topic name so this is the topic name running over here. okay now we'll try echo ross topic echo pause it will showing a warning because i haven't source this up so that sourcing is very important you need to source all the terminal otherwise it won't work now look so this is getting changed and with the change it's recording the data it's recording all the data you can see it's posting this up pose and rotation and orientation so i hope you understood that how it is being done so this is what you have to follow up to get it connected because i made this video specially because even i was having problem while connecting this up i was getting a lot of error and this wasn't getting connected so some things that i figured it out i told you hopefully it will help you and you can also from here you can play around the parameter like if you make it one it will go little bit slow if it make it zero it is going very fast 0.5 so this is how the publishing message rate is okay so that's it for this video and i hope you understood this how this connection is done